the young people with special needs, they face a, a massive challenge. We've tried so many different ways of enabling people to find work, of enabling employers to find ways of adapting and making things simpler for, for our, our young people. It seems to me you've got to make the opportunities yourself. A lot of young people with special educational needs end up having to work on a voluntary basis alongside peers that are being paid. The whole ethos of the charity is that people get paid and we carry out conservation work on a massive scale. Last year we planted 46,000 trees and this year we're on target to plant about 70, maybe 80,000 trees. Currently we have 10 young people working for us on our payroll and the changes actually have been astounding. Having purpose and working in a productive environment, that is the root of change. Day to day I have a team of two generally that come out and work with me, sometimes three if the work requires an extra body. Probably the main thing we see is, is confidence boost for all the guys and skills, they're all learning new skills and it varies from job to job we do. Throughout the year I've got to know each of the guys I work with, their quirks and things and we started putting in targets in place for them to meet and they've really gone for that. We were hedgerow planting and one team planted in a single day 1116 trees in the grounds. One of the sites we recently worked on, I think in total it's about 20,000 trees on that one site. I think this work is invaluable because it gives the guys an opportunity to be in paid employment, be part of something which is going to grow on, because you're planting trees which are going to be there for years and years to come. Landswood are a commercial and residential developer. They had a parcel of land and approached us to see whether we could collaborate and partner with them and whether we would like to use that and they can donate this to us. Of course we said yes. Market Field Farm will be based on a five acre site, creating an enabling development which will finance the build of the farm. A cafe, a shop, library. We're going to have extensive workshops as well. We're going to have some animals. There will also be meeting spaces and event spaces for the community to use and a very large outdoor play area. Within the first four years, we'll create 48 jobs on that site the majority of which we're hopeful will be taken by people with special educational needs and additional needs. The plans for the farm will present a whole load of opportunities. It's for anybody with additional needs that needs an extra bit of support and hopefully finding them a place in society and in the world of work. I always liked helping people when I was little, I always wanted to do stuff like this, plant trees and also help people out in the community. Working outside has helped me because it helps me with my um, skills. You can also learn a trade while doing this. It's good for the mind. It's a great job to have. I love my job what I do. It's beneficial to everyone. It's beneficial to the community and the guys that we're working with are more than capable of doing the job, but they've maybe not ever been given the opportunity to do it before. I feel privileged to be a part of it. The change you see in them from the, when we first started to where they are now, I think it's a different environment to them being at college or school. It makes me feel proud of them. I think it's great that they're given this opportunity to do this.